Hello everyone, it's Elizabeth. Welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited for this video because I'm going to be reviewing these reusable pop-on manicures from Static Nails. These were sent to me free of charge in exchange for my honest review if I like the products. So this video is going to be a review and demo. I'm going to show you how I apply them to my nails and then I'm going to kind of do a wear test. I'm not going to wear them for a super long time because I have a lot of swatching and like other videos I want to film, but I thought it would be fun to try them out this weekend and see how long they last on the nails and then see how easily they are to pop off. So if you're interested in seeing my review and demo of these pop-on nails, then just keep on watching. So the four sets I have here are Vanilla Clouds, Mademoiselle, Aurora, and you make me blush and they're all in the round shape. I believe on their website they have a square shape, a stiletto shape, and a round shape. I prefer a rounder shape nail so that is what I received. Um, I think for the purposes of this video since we're into January and winter I'm going to do these really beautiful sky blue nails even though these iridescent ones are like screaming my name but I think that will be for more of like a fun special occasion. I really love all the colors of them too but I am going to try these sky blue nails. And here we are. The packaging is really beautiful and delicate. I really love the way that it just looks really nice and clean. So let's get this package open. So there's a couple layers here and it looks like it comes with two layers of nails. And then in this bottom layer, you get a little nail file slash buffer and some nail glue. So before I'm able to apply them to my nails, I do need to prep my nails. So the first thing I'm going to do is take off the base coat that I have on. Right now I just have a coat of the OPI Nail Envy Strengthener. And so I'm just going to take a cotton ball with some acetone and just wipe that off my nail so that way I have a nice clean base for the nail glue to stick onto. The kit itself does come with this nail file slash buffer tool, but it does feel quite coarse for me. So I'm going to use just my light buffer block and I'm just going to lightly buff my nails. And then I'm also going to take my cleanup brush dipped into a little bit of acetone and clean the nail beds of any of that nail dust that I just buffed and that should be good for nail prep. So now I would say the next step is to find the sized nail that you need that's going to be able to cover your natural nail completely. And my nails are kind of long right now and the, something that I really like about these nails is that they're not super long. You know how sometimes you can see those fake nails that are like really crazy long for me. I like more of like a natural length. I'm really happy that my nails have grown out quite a bit since it is still winter and normally my nails snap and break off. So I'm going to be really sad if these fake nails do damage my nails, but you know what? I'm going to try them out for you guys. So I think that's good for my pointer finger. And so I'm just going to keep going and matching these up to my nails and then we can move on to the fun part. Okay, so I lined up the sized nails that I need and one thing I will say is that you want to make sure that you get a nail that when you press down completely it still covers the side walls of your nails. So maybe size down a little bit. If you size up then it's going to kind of cover the skin around your nails and it's going to look super unnatural. Even though they are fake nails, you kind of want them to look somewhat natural. So. There are a few steps after you prep your nails, you can decide whether you want them to last a few days or even a few weeks at a time. So what you need to do is if you just want them to last a few days like I do, you just apply a little bit of nail glue to your natural nail. But if you want them to last a super long time, you can apply the glue to your nail and to the fake nail itself. But since I just want them on for a few days, I'm just going to apply a little bit of the nail glue that it comes with onto my natural nail. So I'm just going to squeeze a little bit of this glue on here and then just kind of spread it around towards the base of my nail and then work my way up. I've never really used fake nails so I don't really know how much glue I'm supposed to be putting on but I guess we'll just kind of see. And then I'm going to take the fake nail 
and press down and it says to press down for at least 30 seconds to make sure that the glue is able to dry and harden. Okay, so the nail is on. I'm seeing that I probably could have pushed the nail down towards my cuticle a little bit more, but I've really never used fake nails before, so I guess you can forgive me a little bit. One thing I am seeing is that you can kind of see th where the glue is on the fake nail if you look really closely. So I don't know if that's going to bother some of you. It might bother me a little bit because the nails are just a little bit sheer so you can see where the glue is, but from further distances it's really not going to matter. So I'm going to go ahead and pr complete the rest of the process to the rest of my nails. Okay, so the nails are on. That was super fast and easy. I can see where I did not size my middle finger right. You can see that you can still see my natural nail poking through. And also, like, if you wanted these to last a really long time, I would recommend filing your nails down quite a bit, like filing the length off, so that way you can better size the nails and I think they'd last a little bit longer, but I like to keep the length of my nails since it's really hard for me to grow my nails out, especially in the winter. So that is what we are at, but honestly it was so fast and easy to apply these nails. Again, I do like have a little bit of an issue with the fact that they're like sheer and you can still see the glue, but I think that's just a me problem. I think it's probably just under the studio, like my studio lights that you can really see it, but otherwise these are super pretty and I love the way that they make my hands and my fingers look like super long and delicate and pretty. So we are going to wear these for the rest of the weekend, see how long they last, like when I'm showering, washing the dishes, things like that, and I will keep you updated on how they last. But I am really impressed with how quickly these are to apply, so I'm excited to see how long they last and if they really are reusable or not. Okay guys, so I am back and here are my nails a day and a half after wearing the fake nails and then removing them. I did want to film the removing part, but I'm going to be very honest with you guys. I've never worn fake nails before. I think I already mentioned that in this video. So it was very difficult for me to get used to the feeling of fake nails, especially since I love doing my natural nails all the time. So the second shower I took, I decided that with the warm water, I gently peeled off all the nails. But here is what my nails look like after peeling them off. And then I did apply a layer of my OPI Nail Envy. But my nails really aren't damaged at all. Like I thought they might be. They still feel just fine. And I was really impressed that they really didn't damage my nails after peeling them off. I could definitely feel where they were able to be popped off pretty easily when I soaked them in water. A few of the edges were just able to gently lift and then as they got warmer in the shower, I was able to kind of gently work them off. So here are the nails Oop. after being popped off. And since this is technically branded as a reusable manicure, I just wanted to show you what the nails looked like. So I can definitely see where you could definitely <laughs> reuse these nails. So I'll show you what the under edge looks like. There is still a little bit of nail glue residue, but I think you could like gently scrape it off with a tool or even a toothpick if you wanted to, but otherwise I don't think it's going to be an issue when you want to just reapply the nail again. These two nails, if you can kind of see, they're a little bit bubbled. That's because those were the two that were stuck on my other hand that I couldn't get off in the shower. And I was just kind of getting a little frustrated because I love these nails. I love the way they looked, but the way they felt on my nails was just so unnatural to me because I've never had fake nails before. So I ended up um, soaking these off with some acetone and that's why they look a little bubbled, but you could definitely still reuse it. I think it's kind of a cool look, honestly. Um, but if not, I think you could even like apply a layer of top coat to smooth out those bumps. But all in all, I would definitely recommend these fake nails to anyone because you can wear them for a longer period of time or just a day and a half like I did. And they're definitely able to be 
reused and I can definitely see the appeal of these and I am excited to wear another set and I'm going to give them more of a try of actually wearing them for a longer period of time. I think I just need to get used to the way that fake nails feel on my nails but other than that I really love them. I thought they were really fun to wear. Another thing I wanted to mention was that when I was applying them I could still see the nail glue through the nail. I actually looked on their website and they have different opacities of their fake nails so some are completely opaque some are super sheer and then some are like medium sheer and I think these are like the medium sheer ones so that's why you could still see a little bit of the nail glue or as a set like this darker pink one these are completely opaque so I don't think you'll have an issue seeing the nail glue through them again I'll be testing these out more Especially when I get back to school, I'll want to try out some more fun nails. So check out my Instagram, at the Elizabeth Ann, to see posts about those when I decide to wear them. But other than that, I'll stop rambling, but I really like these fake nails. I think they're really fun. I see the appeal in these. I think they're really awesome and fun to wear, super easy to wear, and then I can just pop these nails back into their tray and into their case and reuse them another time. So, you guys will have to let me know what you think of these nails in the comments below. If you think that you'll be purchasing any of these, check out Static Nails. I will have the link in the description box. But definitely let me know what your thoughts are. I think these are super fun. I think it's a really creative idea, and I'm excited to try them out even more. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!